have some wedding video of the two of you, and I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. If our director, Roger Goodman, wants to roll it in, we will take you there a year ago, right? Yes. Just about exactly. I look like an idiot, I can tell you that. You don't look like an idiot. <laughs> you look more like a, uh, huh. no. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? Yes. We're watching it. Tell us. Oh, we're watching. Tell us, we're watching here live. I do. I do. In the middle, he asks for his autograph. You know, I can make you more. Yeah, I do. Right, but now we're out of time. Okay, if you have a ring. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. And then we can then do the ring. Okay? Thanks. Sorry. You do it? Yes. Yeah. He, he do it. I don't know. He does first. Great. You put it on her first, okay? And yeah. when you put it, you say, with this ring, I do it. This ring, I do it. Right. And you do it the same thing. When you put this ring, as you say, with this ring, I do it. So, I know that you, Lisa Marie, have wanted to talk about this. There are a lot of doubters about this marriage. I've heard that it's a Scientology plan. You are a member of the Church of Scientology, which is said to influence its members greatly, and that the husband you divorced was Scientologist, and he's still very much in your life, and this is all part of a calculation to get Michael and his money into the church. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's crap. I'm sorry. It, it's like ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I'm not. Um, first of all, you can't get influenced by anything um, like that. And and on, under a term of a marriage, um, I'm not going to marry somebody for any reason other than the fact that I fall in love with them. Period. Period. And they can eat it if they want to think anything. <laughs> to put it succinctly. Yeah. What is it you love the most about him? Oh. Um. What do I love the most about him? everything I, he's amazing I really admire him I respect him I admire him I'm in love with him and no uh, we don't sleep in separate bedrooms thank you very much and um, I love everything about him to finish up on that though are you a Scientologist or no no plan to become one I believe in spirituality and I believe in a higher source such as God but I'm not a Scientologist I read everything I like to read I love to study you said you don't sleep in separate bedrooms, and I'm going to confess, okay, this is live TV, and I'm copping out right here because I didn't spend my life as a serious journalist to ask these kinds of questions. But I'm not oblivious to the fact that your fans had one question they most wanted to ask of you. Do we have sex? We have... You, <laughs> she, she, she didn't ask. She I didn't don't ask. ask. I won't ask. Okay, you ahead. don't know what it go was going to be. Is that what you were going to ask? Let's play just a minute or Sorry. two. Let's play one or two. We want to know if you've done the thing. Michael, I know that this is an intimate question, but are you having sex together with Lisa Marie? Do you guys really love each other or you're just doing this to satisfy the media? Are you guys intimate? Again, I can't believe wow. it. But this is about hmm. the skepticism. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and we have read in the papers that you are expecting a child. We will be expecting a child. No, when I'm not going to. We're not going to say when. It's up in the hands of the heavens. But not yet. Did well, we marry out of convenience? That's really interesting. That's it's really ridiculous. interesting to me. Why? Well, why wouldn't we have a lot in common? That's the question. Why? Why not? Like we're faking this? Like, uh, no. But you can't live with somebody day to day. We're together all the time, first of all. Second thing, how can you fake that 24 hours a day with somebody, sleeping with somebody, waking up with somebody, having the to, dumbest thing He's I've running around had. the house, I'm running around the house, you were in our house, we have a normal house, we have a nanny, we have a maid, and we walk around and he's either in the studio, I'm in the kitchen, we're running around like uh, normal, I know it's hard to believe people. We go shopping together, you... We go shopping, we go out to dinner, we argue, sometimes. And about what, <laughs> may I say? <laughs> We also no, heard a report that maybe you were planning to adopt the children. Oh, I would love to adopt children. I think that's something I've always wanted to do. But children of all races, Arab children, Jewish children, black children, it's all races. But Lisa's children? The we, I love Lisa's children, children but, but it's been a mission. But to adopt? Or Pardon? To adopt them, though. Oh, I love her children. They're sweet. But to adopt, no. Of course. 
But he, they have a biological father, and he's the he's their. I think they love me very much. I love them. They do. We have a lot but, of. Fun. But I've never heard of that before, personally, of someone adopting someone's children while they're in a relationship with that person.